What's going on YouTube? This is Necros D1 and it's finally time for the week 5 analysis where the Eterna City Enders are going to take on the Pittsburgh Pyroar who of course are coached by Slyroar in the uh, Pokemon Premier League. We had a really rough week 4 loss um, still swinging really hard back and forth between close win, terrible loss, close win, terrible loss. So by that pattern, we have more than three, so it's by a trend, it's time for another close win. But I don't want that. I want a good, solid win. I don't like this team matchup at all. It's almost as bad as last week against the, uh, uh, the Bayern Munich, so a lot of preparation is going to be needed here. Now, I declined to transfer or make any transfers. I, I feel very solid with my team overall. Uh, if I were going to drop or get rid of someone, I don't really know who it would be at this point, so I'm going to stick with the team that I have. Now, the Pittsburgh Pyro, Slyroy, Slyro, excuse me, drafted an incredibly threatening team. Number one threat on his team, of course, is going to be Caesar. but just to go through his team, of course, he has Caesar, Gardevoir, uh, Tornadus, the regular form, Crustal, Mega Blastoise, Kecleon, Semi-Seer, Lantern, Congledor, Dragalge, and Tangela. Um, just by looking at his team sheet, we can see that Mega Blastoise accounts for most of his kills, with uh, Congledor and Gardevoir coming in the rear there. Uh, and just based on how we've seen him play, he generally tries to, to use Caesar as a wall breaker. Now, I can go ahead and say this, Caesar against my team is fantastic against my team. Um, just with Caesar's typing alone, Steel gets great coverage against every single member of my team. Uh, I don't have a solid switch into Bullet Punch. So should I allow him to get up a Swords Dance with Bullet Punch, it's going to be very difficult to handle. Granted, Kofagrigus is a decent pseudo check to that. He will lose Technician once he takes on that Mummy ability, and I can threaten him out with the Burn too. Uh, without Technician, he really can't dent my team like he otherwise would need to. Um, even outside of that though, with his ability to not only have um, something like Gardevoir trick a scarf to one of my walls, that can be very annoying. Uh, Mega Blastoise is incredibly bulky and can throw around pretty powerful attacks. I think that I have a good matchup here overall just because I'm pretty threatening to him, to his team as well. I don't think my team is as threatening to him as his team is to me. But you have to play the, the Pokemon that you drafted as well as you can. Now, in this matchup, I definitely, definitely want to bring Mega Law Punny. Uh, I have to decide on what type of Law Punny to bring. I'm tempted to run a little bit more standard with Fake Out here just because something like Tornadus, if he decides to Scarf that, that would outspeed me. But otherwise, I can run enough speed on Mega Law Punny to outspeed a Scarf Gardevoir, which is pretty reliable. Um, nothing else on this team has the potential to outspeed me, and I don't really want to take any bullet punches from Caesar with Lop Honey, but uh, I can take them if I have to and hit him back with a fire punch. I, again, I don't like that scenario. I'd rather just handle Caesar with something else on my team and let Lop Honey punch holes uh, on its own. Another Pokemon that I really like here, or rather, my usual defensive core, Cofagrigus and Florges, is pretty decent here, um, mainly because of its ability to take on. Caesar, Mega Blastoise, and to a lesser extent, Concordor and Dragalge. Uh, I can kind of switch back and forth between them. The bad thing is, is that Cofagrigus doesn't have any reliable recovery, and so I'm forced to rely on Wish Passing from Florges. Not only would that lose me some momentum, but it's also fairly predictable when you're trying to Wish Pass into something. Uh, I do like that I could soak up any Toxic Spikes that he has with Toxic Croak from his Dragalge. And of course, I can use a psychic coverage move on um, my floor just to hit Dragalge, so I like that. Granted, there's no real point to running psychic coverage in this move, in this in this particular matchup here. Moonblast is pretty much all I'll need. But I'll look at that. It might be worth it if I feel particularly threatened by Dragalge. Dragalge's not that fast, so uh, it should be okay. But um Kofagrigus, it would be interesting to run that Calm Mind setup set with either Kofagrigus, uh, Florges, or Reuniclus. He has trouble breaking through any of those three Pokemon if I set up one or two Calm Minds. 
The problem with Kafa Grigas, of course, is that Caesar can come in with a banded uh, knockoff and smack Kafa Grigas really hard, and that's not something that I want to handle. Um, of course, if I try to set up a Forges and Caesar's not out of the way, that's going to be an issue, of course. And then something like Gardevoir can trick an item to anything that I'm trying to set up with a Calm Mind. Uh, even with Calm Minds up, Kafa Grigas doesn't really want to take a Specs Adaptability Boosted Draco Meteor from Dragalge. And with Calm Minds up, I can't use Dragalge against... I can't use Forges against Dragalge either. So I really have to be able to predict when he's going to be switching to one and what moves he's going to be using. I'm going to have to really study his, his previous matches here. Now, I do like my defensive core overall, though. It shuts down so many of his Pokemon, just between Kafa Grigas and Florges. Uh, so that's that's three Pokemon right there. The last three slots for my team are a little bit more up in the air. I could take a more uh, bulky approach to this with Reuniclus, with Florges, Toxicroak, and Reuniclus, if I decide to go with that, and Kafa Grigas. That's, that's going to be pretty bulky. If I bring Toxicroak, it's going to be a more bulky Toxicroak. It needs to be able to switch in on Blastoise comfortably and take uh, Ice Beams while also being able to cover the Dark type stab that um, Blastoise can use with whether it's Dark Pulse or trying to use Flash Cannon with the Mega Launcher ability to hit Florges. I need Toxicroak to be able to switch in there, but I also need Toxicroak to have a defensive presence to take hits, or a hit rather, from Caesar. I was looking at the moves that Toxicroak gets. And it does learn counter. I can breed counter onto Toxicroak. Um, I'm recording this pretty late. Uh, we're actually going to battle um, while well, I'm up late, but we're going to battle tomorrow morning at Thursday. So I'm recording this the the night before that. I don't know. Time is weird. It gets all wiggly wobbly and timey wimey. But uh, I could breed counter onto Toxicroak. Now, with the right investment, I know for a fact that Toxicroak can live. A plus two um, life orb bullet punch from Caesar, and that's even with Stealth Rocks up. Now, my opponent does have access to Crustle, which means that there might be some annoying hazard stacking going on, which is what makes me very interested in running Kabutops. Granted, I don't like Kabutops matchup here, but with his access to Toxic Spike Spikes and Stealth Rocks, not something that I particularly want to deal with. Now, how do you deal with that? Toxic Pro can also learn Taunt. I can also run Taunt on um, uh, Noivern too, so it it kind of, I don't know, it kind of just depends on what I end up doing. I do like Noivern's coverage against his team, speaking of Noivern, um, Hurricane Draco Meteor hits everything that he has pretty hard. It actually it makes me want to run Specs. Granted, I have not had good luck with Noivern so far. Um, just missing those attacks just all day and I putting a, a wide lens on him does give you that extra 10% accuracy but the loss of power is very noticeable here so um, yeah Hurricane can hit every single thing that he has for a 2 a KO except for Lantern and Lantern does not like eating a, um, a Draco Meteor so that is not a terrible idea I'll have to look more into that and of course, I can run Flamethrower on my Noivern just to hit Caesar if I really, really, really need to. If you haven't figured it out yet, I do not look forward to facing Caesar in this matchup. It just brutalizes my team. Man, fortunately, I feel like we have the bulk to handle it. Caesar, even if it has a choice band, fails to one hit KO um, Reuniclus with the U turn or Bug Bite uh, as long as I have max HP and max defense. Now, is that worth really trying to set up with Reuniclus in that situation? Probably not. I don't know how well that's going to work out. I think it does a good 80% or something ridiculous like that. But it is a 2 hit KO, so that's nice. Um, some of his other Pokemon, such as Lantern, Conkledur, and Tangela, are all basically checked by certain Pokemon on my team, such as Toxicroak. Um, I'm interested to see if he uses Tangela in our matchup. I don't think that he will. He hasn't used it in a battle yet. Similarly, he hasn't actually used Crustle or semi in a battle yet. I do think there is a chance that he might bring Crustle just because of the ability to hazard stack. And I actually hope that he brings Crustle because Crustle is easier for me to handle from a, from a defensive standpoint. That's something that really my team could set up on actually. Um, but from him, I definitely expect to see Caesar, 
probably a Scarfed Gardevoir, uh, maybe a Scarfed Tornadus, just because he might be really afraid of my Lopunny. Uh, granted, if I have Fake Out, Scarf doesn't matter much right there. Uh, Mega Blastoise, and then Conkledur and Dragalge. I don't really see him bringing any of the other Pokemon because they're a little bit more easily checked by my team. Uh, something like Toxic Hook can switch in on a lot of his Pokemon and just eat up the hits and then get the HP back with Drain Punch. Granted, uh, I do need to keep it away from Paralysis from something like um, either the Kecleon or to a lesser extent uh, the Lantern. I don't think Lantern will necessarily run Thunder Wave, but you never know. Uh, without it, he kind of just eats up hits from it. But uh, yeah, I, I really feel like I have a good chance to make this terrible team matchup matter here. I could do something really weird and bring Lee Vanny. I, I don't know that Sticky Web is super useful here, although I do like it for slowing down his um, his semi seer and to a lesser extent slowing down the Caesar or maybe even a Scarf Gardevoir. But since he has multiple ways to not only get rid of hazards with Defog on a couple of Pokemon, uh, he could also spin them with Blastoise, so uh, not necessarily a reliable way to handle Entry Hazard. Um, stacking on my side so there's not not a lot of point to do that Lee Vanny does get the really nice Leaf Storm against Mega Blastoise and Lantern but only hitting two Pokemon with Leaf Storm and then not really getting any notable notice noticeable coverage with X Scissor I guess I can knock off some items but I don't really see Lee Vanny coming into this matchup uh, Stoutland is going to be an interesting thing that I'm going to have to think about a little more uh, I, I definitely don't want to bring Tyranitar to this matchup because Caesar, Gardevoir, Tornadus, Crustle, Blastoise, to a lesser extent Kecleon, Semiseer, Lantern, Conk Elder, Dragalge, Tangela, they all get super effective moves against it, whether it's a coverage move or something else. And I just feel like I'd be switching in and out so much and and the Pokemon that I've named so far, they don't really, uh, it doesn't allow me to run Sandstorm in a beneficial way. So there's no real reason to bring Tyranitar this week. That being said, a defensive Stoutland with Intimidate could be very useful here. Um, Intimidate affects a good half of his team to a, a decent amount. Um, Caesar doesn't really like it. Conkledur doesn't appreciate it, like he doesn't really care necessarily because he still gets the fighting coverage, but he doesn't appreciate it. And then anything, any extra coverage moves that Tornadus or Crustle might have, they'll be cut down, allowing me to the, the ability to switch around a little bit more. I could even do something weird like run a bulky Stoutland and um, a bulky Stoutland with Fire Fang, which shout outs to my co-coach uh, Aqua Clauncher for coming up with that idea. I really like that idea. Uh, I was looking at Stoutland generally, but I was like, eh, I don't really know if I'm going to bring him to this matchup. Instead of bulky, if, I, if I'm, I'm basically deciding between a bulky Stoutland or a bulky Toxicroak. Um, and since Toxicroak can get counter to really put the hurt on some things with the counter, that's pretty pretty intriguing there. I like Toxicroak's typing against my opponent's team a little bit better overall. Now, um, if my opponent does end up bringing a little bit more defensively bulky team, I will be surprised, but I think I can handle that better. Um, something like Specs Noivern with Law Punny behind it can definitely punch some holes even in a more defensive team with the options that he has. Um, I'm expecting him to bring Caesar with probably Swords Dance and Life Orb Scarf Gardevoir, um, Tornadus, Mega Blastoise, and Conkleder and Dragalge. And right now I'm going to tentatively plan on bringing a Mega Law Punny, maybe with Focus Punch, like Aqua Cluncher and I dis discussed. That would just be an interesting option. Uh, the fake out set seems really predictable, I guess, and I, I don't like being predictable. So something like Focus Punch can definitely 2 it KO a lot of things on his team, and I'm I'm all around for throwing up subs for Lopunny anyway. Uh, but Lopunny, Coffergrigus, Florges, either Toxicroak or Stoutland, uh, Reuniclus and Noivern are going to be my team most likely for this week. So you guys look forward to that battle. I have to get up bright and early to battle him in the morning before I go to work uh, because he works late. So me getting off work late, him headed into work, not a good matchup on our schedules there. But hey. I'll get up, I'll eat a bowl of Count Chocula, I'll have an orange, and um, I can do those things because I'm an adult, right? You can have a bowl of Count Chocula. It's fortified with vitamins and minerals, okay? I can do what I want. I'm an adult. We're gonna do this.
We're gonna we're gonna take it to him as well. It's a bad matchup, but we can definitely win. I hope you guys enjoy the battle. Stay tuned. It'll be later on this week. I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye now.